What's up guys, it is Pup, your coach, the Green Bay Drill Bruce. Today is week seven of the GWA. We're facing off against Caleb U. I'm going to go by Caleb. I don't know if I'm butchering that pronunciation, you know, Aussies, st stuff like that. Um, but we have a very, very tough matchup in this week. Um, if you guys don't want to be spoiled, then you better go watch last week's battle. But we ended up coming out with a 1-0 victory, which was huge. Now we're sitting at 4-2, which is a good spot. And Caleb is having a great season. So it's going to be a tough uh, game to try to get up to five wins. Five, win five wins will definitely clinch us into the playoffs. Um, they'll definitely be clinched as well if they win this. They might already be. I honestly don't know how their week six game went or if they've even played it yet, to be completely honest. But... I know that we really want to win this game. And if we don't win this game, then we have to play zero in the last week. And we can get in with losing both of these games, but I really don't want to. I want to win here so that I don't have to uh, go super duper try hard against zero because I know he's an amazing battler and there's a good shot that we play him in the playoffs. But without further ado, let's go over my team. Actually, first, if you guys don't want to watch the team builder then shame on you but also make sure you subscribe and then you can go to whatever the timestamp is on screen but let's go over the teams with my transactions i've got the palafin i have slow king galler i have chiyu got kilowattrel the wacky enam bear tick iron treads reggie drago gligar and dedene while caleb's team consists of dark rye Deoxys Defense, Skarmory, Annihilate, Dondozo, Florges, Ursaluna, Swadloon, and Weezing. Now, if you guys watched my Zero Zone or like anything, you will know that I have lost to Annihilate every single time I've played it. Don't think I've ever beaten an Annihilate team in draft, so that already is a really, really bad start. But I think that I should be able to handle this team. I don't know, they've got like Stall, they have Deoxys Defense, they've got Skarmory, they got Dondozo, they have Florges, the Weezing, like they're just rocking Stall. So I'm thinking that I should be able to break that, especially with like Palafin, Chiyu, you know, Stall Breaker Pokemon that you think of. But um, let's go over the Terra Captains. I think I should have them written down over here. Yes, I do. So mine are the Kilowattrel, Thwacky, Enam, and Beartick. What you need to know is that Enam is fairy and ground. Kilowattrel is flying, water, and fairy. I think those are the two that I'm bringing in this game. But on Caleb's side, they have the Annihilate with Ghost and Water. Ursaluna is normal fire and fairy. Swadloon is grass, fire, and fairy. And Weezing is poison, steel, and fairy. So they have a lot of huge threats into my team. So I think to bring Chiyu, Chiyu can definitely lead very well into their team. Um, some of the Pokemon that they might want to lead are like the Swadloon. They might want to lead with the Skarmory. They might want to lead with the Deoxys Defense. And Chiyu is perfect into all three of those. At first, I was running Taunt on the set to go into Swadloon. But honestly, like I don't think Swadloon comes to this game. And if it does, the sticky webs aren't like the biggest deal. It really doesn't hinder many of my Pokemon on my team. But I mean, they would be unfortunate, but it's not a big deal. Especially with a lead Chiyu that might just go down in the first couple turns. I don't really mind too much. But we have a Choppleberry on here just so we don't die to like a lead Annihilate or lead Darkrai. If they want to click either like drain punch into me close combat or if they want to click focus blast i'm going to live that no matter what i have flamethrower dark pulse overheat and psychic overheat is there in case they do lead like the dark rye then i can one shot it with overheat um but everything else i pretty much just click dark pulse into i guess i can click flamethrower into the skarmory i can try to bluff like a choice scarf on this thing if they like go out to Don Dozo on my flamethrower. I can obviously just switch out. My Dark Pulse isn't gonna do too much to them anyways. That's kind of the plan. We have enough speed in here to outspeed the Annihilate and the Deoxys defense if they're running max. 
but I feel like the Annihilate could easily run a Scarf set in this game if the Darkrai is not running that instead. Next up we've got Enam with Expert Belt, Contrary, Moonblast, Psychic, Mystical Fire, and Grass Knot. This set is absolutely insane into their team. I can one-shot most of the members to be completely honest. The one thing that stops me is Darkrai that has Sludge Bomb on it. If I Terra Fairy then I'm to it KOing most of the Pokemon on their team. They don't have a good switch in, um, but Skarmory dies to Mystical Fire as well. Weezing dies to Psychic. Dondozo pretty much dies to Grass Knot. Ursaluna dies to Grass Knot. Um, of course they have Taros, but if I scout that out earlier in the game, then Enam can come in and clean up a leader. I have enough speed in here to outspeed the uh, Annihilate and the Dark, not the Dark Guy, and the, the Deoxys, and then just a little bit of bulk. In the third slot, we have a very, very interesting Palafin set. So you might see this and say, what are you thinking? But what I'm thinking is that they are going to bring one Pokemon to counter me. And that's going to be the Dondozo. They're probably going to bring like a Curse, Rocky Helmet, Rest Dondozo sort of thing. So if they Curse, I just Encore them. You know, if they do hit me with like Wave Crash or something, I Encore them. If it's Skarmory and they're Roosting or they're setting up Spikes, I Encore them. And then I just click Bulk Up. I click Bulk Up, I click Bulk Up. If they're like plus, plus six with Curses, they're gonna feel pretty fine about me being plus six as well because I still don't do anything with like the normal jet crunch. Even with like close combat, I don't really touch the Dondozo, especially because they're unaware. So they won't really care. But I have Grass Knot, which is doing, you know, like 40 to 50 ish percent depending on their spread, which is pretty insane. So that's why I'm running like max attack and max special attack. And if I do end up getting to like plus six, like if they misplay it and I don't account for that grass knot, if they just let me get to plus six in front of them and while I encore them, then Jet Punch will pretty much just one shot every single thing on their team and I can sweep with Palafin. So that's really the idea here. I have enough speed in here, even with my brave nature. I'm running a decent amount of speed so that I can outspeed the Dondozo all the time. Um, I outspeed a wheezing if they're like not invested which they shouldn't be i always outspeed ursa luna which is the biggest thing um and i can grass knot that thing or i can just jet punch it it really depends but i can encore them if they try to do anything cheeky i'm also gonna outspeed most skarmories um, a lot of florgises unless they're like a lot of speed invested um and then most of the wheezings as well the one big downside to this set is that Weezing kind of walls me for sure if I don't get any bulk ups up. So if that's its first switch in, then I'm in a pretty bad spot because they can just Will-O-Wisp me. But luckily I have other answers on the team for that Weezing. So I feel fine going with this set. In the next spot, we've got Kilowattrel, rocking heavy duty boots with competitive, Thunderbolt, Hurricane, Volt Switch, Terra Blast with the flying Terra type. Uh, Terra Blast is there to just make sure that I don't miss my Hurricanes. I also have Volt Switch Thunderbolt as uh, two electric stabs. And then Hurricane is great with Terra Flying to just chunk things and do a lot of damage to Floor just even if that thing is fully specially bulky, which is really nice. And with max speed on this thing, I'm going to speed tie with Dark Rhyme. If it ends up being Choice Scarfed, that's alright by me. Obviously, I have a lot of weaknesses into it. But Palafin should be able to two-shot it with Jet Punch. Um, if they have some bulk investment, then it's probably going to be closer to a three-shot. It's a, it's going to be pretty close with the rolls anyways. But I'm not too, too worried about Scarf on that thing. I'm more worried about Scarf like Annihilate, which I should be able to deal with with Chiyu. Or deal with it with Palafin or the other members of my team. In the fifth spot. We've got a Galarian Slowking, rocking a red card in case anything gets out of hand. Um, that goes for like the um, Darkrai if it nasty plots and I catch it like clicking Ice Beam into my Kilowattrel. Then I can switch into this thing, live a hit and then red card it out. If they have too many Rage Fist boosts or bulk ups on the Annihilate, I catch it in a Drain Punch and I switch into this thing, red card it out. That's really the idea. But also Toxic Spikes are amazing against their team. They could easily run like a lot of heavy duty boots, 
because they have no removal at all. Um, the only thing that could remove it is a Galarian Weezing that's not running Levitate. And I feel like it probably does run Levitate and maybe like Terra Fairy into my team. I feel like that's pretty good to try to get past my Enam. But I mean, we'll see what they end up bringing. I have Psychic Noise on this thing as well, which can take on the Dondozo because I have a little bit of speed to outspeed that thing. Uh, chili Reception to get momentum and then Sludge Bomb is obviously a great stab into their team and can poison things. Rocking mostly special defense with just a little bit of defense uh, just to try to take hits from the Annihilate a little bit better if it does end up being like a Drain Punch or something of that nature and then the speed for the Don Dozo. And last up we have Gligar on my team. I did notice that they have no hazard removal so spikes on this thing it seems completely free. But I also thought that I need a better Annihilate counter, even if they are Terra Water. Um, most of the time, like from neutral, I can eat a hit and KO it back with counter, which should be awesome. We have immunity, so we can't be poisoned by anything. Um, they can't really stall this thing. I mean, they can, but it's going to be a little bit tougher for them to stall this thing. We have more momentum with U-Turn, and Earthquake hits their team decently hard. One thing I am worried about with this team is a like cosmic power Deoxys defense or like Calm Mind Iron defense. Um, stored power is completely free against my team because my only dark type is Chiyu. So that definitely scares me. So having like being able to U-turn out on this thing to bring in something a little bit more powerful to be able to take it out is pretty important. Also the red card on Sloking should be able to eat a hit if they aren't set up all the way. And I feel like this is just a pretty good set. Should also eat a hit from Ursaluna at max HP, even if they're Terra Normal Facade being burned with Guts. I should be able to eat that and just counter them away. As you notice, I also have the 220 speed on this, which hits like the Weezing, the Ursaluna, all that sort of stuff like you saw on my Palafin. So that's going to be just about it for my team builder. Uh, if you guys enjoy, please leave a like subscribe, whatever else you want to do, and see you guys in the battle. All right, we're here connecting to Caleb. Let's see what they brought today. Yep, they definitely did bring, uh, they brought almost everything that I expected, except for no Deoxys defense, which is actually pretty nice. No Weezing is actually awesome for me, and they did bring the Skarmory. So Chiyu absolutely goes crazy here. Um, wait, what else is off on here? Oh, they have the, uh, I don't even have it on here. I disrespected it a lot. Um, I don't have the, whatchamacallit, the Cyclozar. I'll definitely put it on there. Um, it is pretty free to lead with my Chiyu, but I could also just lead with like Palafin, which would be fine. Um, yeah, I mean, I could also just lead with a uh, Kilowattril, which would be really nice. Hmm. You know what? Let's just lead with uh, my Palafin. Yeah, let's go for it. Might as well. And uh, hopefully this doesn't stop anything. I'm going to add this. Cyclizar. Bang. Give me one second. Oh, this music is so good. Okay, Cyclizar should be somewhere in here. Yeah, here we go. And they end up leading with the Skarmory. That's fine by me. I'm just going to go hard out into Chiyu. I'm assuming that they're going to set up some sort of hazard here. This is always the plan. Alright. And let's see what they end up going for. It could just be like a body press. They just set up spikes. Okay. And we could go for flamethrower, which is just destroy this thing. They have to have some sort of salt vest in the back to eat this. Uh, but it's pretty free to go for flamethrower, I would think. I mean, yeah. Maybe they have, like, Dundozo. They just let it stay in and go down to sturdy. 
Which that's fine by me. I get a crit, it does not matter one bit. And they just body press. Got the chopple, so I'm gonna eat it with a decent amount. Yeah, it definitely won't knock me out. Yeah, because I mean, without that chopple, it's technically a roll to kill. I mean, although very much in my favor. I'll just flamethrower again. It might have been the best play to Dark Pulse. Looking at like the resistances, but I feel like they could go out to Florges. It could be the Dondozo, but I don't think Dondozo eats it very well. Yeah, Dondozo does not really switch in at all. That thing has to be a salt vest to switch in. Even Florges like does not take a flamethrower into an overheat at all. This is a huge problem for his team. He just has to let Skarmory go down. No. Wow. What do you have, uh, Cyclozar? You do have Cyclozar with a Assault Vest, it must be. This should still do a quarter. Yeah. Maybe just like max HP Assault Vest. Max HP, max speed looking thing. It really depends on what you're gonna go for here. Like, is it even gonna kill me? I'm not 100% sure what this thing gets, to be completely honest. Yeah, I kept forgetting that they had Cyclosar. I think I might have even left off my, uh, my sheet. I feel like it should be pretty free. I'm not sure if they have an ice move, actually. What do I actually go out to here? Let's go... I'm gonna go to my Gligar. They could make a really good prediction. I also need... Eh, no. We're chilling. We're chilling. These n nicknames are like some Australian slang, whatever. I just looked up stuff. They do U-turn, it does literally nothing. Did like four damage. Let's see. What did they end up going out to here? So like Ursaluna, probably Darkrai. Yep, it is Darkrai. I want to get a read on this um, cycle cycles are set. Did about fourteen. That looks like Jolly. Okay. Now, obviously, an Ice Beam is going to hurt. And it will, like, definitely take me out. But I can't let this thing set up a nasty plot in my face. I mean, I could. Hmm. If I Spikes here... Yeah, I mean, this is worrying. Because I don't have a switch into this. I'm just going to simply click U-turn. If this thing goes down, it's fine. They set up a sub. Okay. So, uh, very, very glad that I just U-turned. And now I'm pretty sure my place to go out to kill Watchroll. And I could Terra Flying Hurricane, which will absolutely demolish them. They end up being leftovers. Okay. I wonder if they're max speed. I'm just going to go for Volt Switch. If they're max speed, it's unfortunate for me. And it's just like Ice Beam me. It's a speed tie here if they are. Maybe this wasn't the right play. Maybe I should have just Terra Flying Hurricane. Oh well. They just switched straight out. That's fine by me. They go hard Ursa Luna. Wow. 
I mean, good play. Um, no flame orb. I think I can just throw off a hurricane. I could also just go out into my Glycar. But if they double back into uh, Darkrai, then I'm in a bad spot. Eh. I'm gonna bluff being Scarfed here. I think they might think that I'm Scarfed to be so bold. Ooh, Avalanche, that's a really, really good play. I do think that they probably just go for another one. Should I get up my spikes? Or do I counter this thing? Avalanche. No burn. I'm gonna click counter. Yeah, they do stay in an avalanche. We live and we get a hard counter off on this guy. That, that'll that take him down real far, that's awesome. And I'll just set up a spike here. It probably just takes me out, which is fine. This thing could be some sort of choice item. Like Scarf, which would be weird. Oh yeah, I just get a free spike up, which is nice. They go Skarmory to sack it off. That's fine by me. Alright, they get some lefties, so I'm not gonna knock them out. See, if we just, like, trade spikes, I feel like it hurts their team a lot more than it hurts mine. But I could also just go like out to this guy and click Toxic Spikes, which are insane versus them. Except for the Ursa Luna might be Guts. I would just be beating at Guts. I don't know. They do have the Cyclosar, so obviously I just missed it when I was like talking about everything. I think I'm just gonna U-turn because they can Rapid Spin my Spikes anyways. I end up being faster. Which is not what I expected. I guess it makes sense based on how I EV it. I'm gonna go Killo. We saved Gligar as a sack in the back. They just reef. Alright. That's fine by me. Let's see, the Volt Switch is definitely knocking them out. They're gonna go into Ursa Luna again? No, they go Cyclozar. Alright. I wonder what kind of tech they have for an Amorous. What does Cyclozar get for Enam? Not even 100% sure. I think that's my play every time. Uh, Cyclozar. It gets Iron Head. How much is that going to do? It's going to do maybe 50. I'm gonna go to this thing. And I feel like I could just tear a fairy moon blast, which is really free. Hmm. Or do I want the Terra Flying? I feel like Terra Flying is gonna be really nice. I'm just gonna regular moon blast. He could also be afraid of Scarf on this thing. Although I'm not. They do withdraw. Awesome. They're just giving me a lot of damage on stuff. 
You go Skarmory. It's gonna take a big chunk of damage from this. I get a crit, which, yeah, it's unfortunate for them. I'm just gonna Mystical. There's a good chance that they switch out. And I have to reveal that I'm not Scarf, but that's all right by me. Darkrai is insane into me. It's sub. Sludge Bomb will knock out my Enam. Actually, will it? No, it actually won't. Which is the same power as Ice Beam. Which I'm assuming they have. Yeah, it actually can't knock me out in one hit. Yeah, I mean, I feel like I'm in a pretty good spot. There goes the sound for some odd reason. I hate it when it does that. Hopefully it'll come back. They just let the Skarmory go down. Awesome. Goodbye to that thing. Good riddance. And, uh, I mean, now they know I'm not Scarfed. I wonder if they just go out to Darkrai. But it cannot kill me. They go to Fernardo. Um, okay. Don Dozo. I grass knot this thing, and it has a really good... Well, it should just die if it's Fizz Death. Let's see. It does not. So it's got a decent amount of spadef. The waterfall does a lot of damage to me. I get a defense raise, which is actually really nice. All right. And Moonblast should just take it out here. It does withdraw, so I get a good hit on something. I wonder if they go Florgis. Alru, that's got to be the Florgis. I think we've seen everything else. All right, Florges should do a decent chunk. Oh, I get another crit. Uh, I feel bad. Uh, the crit on the Skarm did not matter one bit. The crit on this thing does matter because I think I don't have to Terra Fairy. But I, I do want to save my Terra on kill for like four kilowatt roll because it's really good. So I think I'm going to go for Moonblast, try to get the kill here. They protect. All right, so if I do end up Terra Faring, Darkrai, if there's Sludge Bomb, it will take me out at this point. But like an Ice Beam will not. Hmm. I think I'm going to Terra Fairy Moonblast. Man, I hope that the sound is still there for you, because it's definitely not there for me. I wonder why. Aw, oh, this Terra Fairy Moonblast probably has a good chance to knock it out, so I'm going to go for it. I'm also... I hope this doesn't stop the recording. I'm going to reset. Bang. Okay, there we go. There we go. Get the music back. We Terra Fairy on this. Based on how much that crit did, I feel like this should take it out. It says like 44 to 52. It's just max HP. And it does. Okay. Goodbye, Florges. So the Don Dozo is super chipped. Ursa Luna is super chipped. I'm in a great, great spot here. And they do go Dark Rhyme. I'm assuming that there's Sludge Bomb. Um, but I never, like, do anything else but Moonblast. They're disabled. Okay. I mean, that's fine by me. They're disable, sub. I do think they should, uh, like, their sub should break to a Mystical Fire. There's no way it doesn't. Like, even if they're max HP, it's still breaking sub. 
Oh, they're just Dark Pulse. I do a lot. Get the special attack drop, which means I should be able to live another. Alright, and we just... Uh, I mean, I guess actually Grass Knot does more damage, technically. I'm just gonna Mystical Fire again. We do live. Let's see if we get flinched. No, we don't. Caleb's getting super unlucky. I feel feel really bad. And I think on this turn, I just throw off a Grass Knot. Just to, like, be cheeky. They shouldn't take me out here every time. Yep. Okay, goodbye to my Enamorous. You did amazing work into their team. Good, good stuff. Alright. And I get to go kill a Watchroll. If they're disabled. I don't think they have any, like, pretty much any other moves. I can actually just go out to Palafin, and I think Palafin might just win. Because I'm obviously going to knock them out with Jet Punch. Yeah, let's just Jet Punch here. I guess technically if they are like very invested, then they could live. They just go out to, they go out to sack Ursaluna. Okay, it's fine by me. Down goes that thing. And I mean, as long as Palafin's still alive, I beat Darkrai and Tondozo. Do I really beat this, uh, this Cyclozar, though? I think they're... I think we said that they were Zolda from earlier. So I don't really do too much. They don't do too much back to me. I think I'm gonna bulk up. I mean, if they end up being some sort of special set. Like, I mean, I don't even see Cyclozar. I don't feel like they're doing too much. They could be Dragon Tail. That's all I see. I'm just gonna bulk up here. They're gonna spin. Now we're gonna be plus one attack, plus one defense. I think I'm just gonna encore them into whatever they go for. And if they try to dragon tail me here, uh, then they'll just get encored into rapid spin. They could just go Dondoza though. The U turn, okay, okay. So, encore obviously not working very well there. But. On Dondozo, I'm going to be able to destroy it with the Grass Knot, which is awesome. That's an awesome feeling. Oh, they go Darkrai. Okay, okay. I mean, that's fine. I just knock this thing out with Jet Punch. Yeah, I mean, even if they have a decent amount of investment, which they could, like, I'm still doing a million percent with my Jet Punch, especially now that we're plus one. And I think Palafin just cleans up here. Let's just uh, make sure not to misclick. Let's go withdraw. Okay. <laughs> uh, right back out to Cyclesar. So it seems like Cyclesar might be a uh, choice lock. Choice scarf, potentially. I'm gonna bulk up one more time. Oh, wait, they're obviously not choice scarf. But they, they hit me with a knockoff now. But I do get to plus two, plus two. And I think it's just time to like flick Jet Punch. They do withdraw. Wonder if they go to Darkrai this turn. 
No, they go out to the Dondozo. And I do absolutely nothing. They get the leftovers. They probably think that they're going to be able to survive another hit from me. But I've got the Grass Knot. Let's go. It's the hidden tech. Take out the Dondozo. Awesome. Good stuff. Goodbye to that thing. And we're just cruising in this battle. At this point, I'm pretty sure Killwatcher all like should win. Um, Sloking probably beats the Cyclosar. I think it's pretty much over. I mean, they can chip me down. I just bulk up again. Yeah, they knock off again. It's doing nothing. I think I'm just going to go to like plus four, plus four. And then at that point, I'm doing about half. If they're at like max HP. Oh yeah, I'm not even calcing as like the right Palafin. I've, I've been calcing as the wrong Palafin this whole time. Which is kind of funny. I'm just going to throw off Jet Punch this time. They withdraw, so I, I get the Dark Eye on this turn. So goodbye to Dark Eye. And then we are going to be able to take out the Cyclozar in two Jet Punches as well. Um, a good game to my opponent. I obviously got lucky with the crit. Um, the one on Skarmory did not matter one bit, but the one on Forge did matter. Um, I'm not sure how much it changed the pace of the game, but it did matter. So I, I have to give them that. Um, but Palafin, like the prep on this thing, putting in a lot of work. Their Dark Race set did not do as much as they were hoping to. Man, that Jet Punch does a million. And they just get the spin off. But uh, I mean, their Dark Rice set is scary. And I'm surprised that they didn't end up being some sort of like nasty plot life orb coverage set. So I felt like that was really good into me. Uh, definitely destroys what I brought. But uh, we're going to take it 5-0 over Caleb, which is great. GG's to my opponents. Um, they had a lot of good stuff. And uh, yeah, I mean, we just had the we had a really good team to counter what they brought. So uh, yeah, GG's to Caleb. And thank you guys for watching. If you like me uh, doing this to my opponents and want to see more in the future, please leave. be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in next week's battle. Peace out.